Incels, or should I say, involuntarily celibate men. It's a problem plaguing society as we know it. Over the last couple years, I feel like incels have become a bit of a meme in their own right. I mean, come on, who doesn't like to poke fun of the incels? Because at the end of the day, they do it to themselves. What am I, supposed to feel bad for your ability not to get any box? It's a fucking skill issue, okay? We're talking Riz. In my opinion, it's really, really not that difficult to find a partner, okay? We're dealing with really low standards, bottom of the barrel type shit here. Just maybe take a shower once in a while, work on yourself, maybe don't be a psychopath. But alas, here we are. That's right, we're still talking about incels in 2024. And that's because I was recently sent this banger of a documentary called Shy Boys IRL. A little context, this documentary was made as a student art project over 13 years ago. And this comment sums it up. Shout out to Sarah Gardefi for making a documentary that captured and kind of predicted the great personality crisis of the new generations and the archetypes that would later dominate discussion about masculinity on the internet. Impactful and thought-provoking documentary. And I would have to agree. Some of you may want my unfiltered third eye opinion on incels and being involuntarily celibate. Now listen, key word being involuntarily as if this is not their fault. The problem is it is a vicious feedback loop of negative, unlovable energy that just snowballs into this fucking demonic person. That's what an incel becomes, pretty much. So no, I don't feel bad for you, okay? Life is suffering, we all have to go through this shit. Man the fuck up, eat some red meat, get your ass in the gym, have some self-respect, learn to dress, and be a nice guy, okay? It's not that fucking hard. And I'm not talking like, oh, nice guys finish last. No, I'm talking about don't be a doormat, have some fucking dignity, and get it done, buddy. Hello? It's gonna happen eventually, and I'm just frustrated that it hasn't happened yet. I've never kissed a girl, I haven't gotten anything. Losing it at 17 and then going like 10 years before doing it again, I think that's pretty, uh, that's not normal. I didn't know what the term incel meant until I was 20 or 21, but I knew the concept. Looking at our talent here, okay? There's a couple things off the bat that we need to identify. Are we just gonna pretend like bro doesn't need any chapstick? Who wants to talk to somebody who's got crust and pus oozing out of their mouth? Not me, and sure as fuck, not women. Let's just get one thing out of the way. It's not like you're entitled to any of this, okay? You think just because you exist as a human, somebody's gonna fall into your lap? No, that's not how the real world actually works. You have to have something about you that is worth being attracted to. I feel like I scammed you into filming me. Like, why would anyone want to film my life? It's so boring. I'm not trying to be mean here, but it writes itself. The first thing out of his mouth is a negative thought. Oh, why would you want to film me? My life is so boring. One thing I'm not a fan of is just going out and meeting new people. I kind of despise that. I don't know about how the term love shy is a good, is a great term or anything, but it does describe a specific problem that I think there isn't any other term for. Usually he doesn't see very many people coming through here. I don't like see these people, other love shy males in my real life that often. And even if I did, I mean, even if I could relate to their situation, it would be like, then what? Okay, character two joins the game, forum name Advanced, and he is a self-described incel. What do you have to offer a woman? As of now, nothing. I don't have a job, I am ugly, so my value right now is zero. Oh, <laughs> uh, where do I even begin? Have you approached many women? Oh, many. And what was the result? Rejection 100% of the time. Guy's got no bread. And look at his fingernails. I mean, Jesus Christ. That is a fucking skinwalker. Obviously, girls don't want to be around you. Go get a manicure. I'll take you. I would start talking to a girl, and immediately she would give me fuck off signals. She would, you know, pull out her cell phone, just start texting her friends, and just hope I would go away. Uh, I don't approach that much anymore because, you know, I've had over 1,000 rejections in real life. 
2,000 rejections online, so that's 3,000 rejections total. How do you, did you count in real life? I'm approximating. Uh, that's not a real word. We're redoing that. <laughs> Ask a question again. For some reason, most of these incels have this Reddit fedora tipping inflection in their voice with insane levels of snark, which is inherently unattractive. I aim as low as possible. I aim for obese women, ugly women, ideally ugly and obese. You know, I aim for the bottom of the barrel because... You know, I, I realize that I'm ugly. Imagine self-reporting that you are the proverbial shrimp when it comes to dating. Just a straight bottom feeder <laughs> sucking off anything you can get. Where's the self-respect? Where's the dignity? Where's the balls? Pretty boys get women, like your sound guy. And it's just to you know, turn it to him, he's like, yeah. Turn to him and he <laughs> See, he gets women because, see, I, I knew the moment I looked at him that he's not incel. Is this satire? This has to be a bit. On some real shit, he's not even unattractive. He needs some grooming, maybe some style, you know, a new haircut, an exercise regime. Like, you are savable, okay? You are not inept. Alright, this is Genericon. It is, in fact, a generic convention. It's the only time during the year when I can totally geek out and nobody notices. Have either of you heard of Love Shines before this? Actually, I haven't. To be perfectly honest, I had no idea. When I was in high school, I wasn't the most popular guy until the end of the years, and at that point, no girls really were interested in me. In college, I spent two years in a two-year school where nobody really hung out, and by the time I went into the four-year school, Everybody hooked up. This lackadaisical aloofness, this rolling over like a puppy dog, woe is me, cry me a river bullshit, pisses me off to no end. Because it is antithetical to my entire worldview and how I think about this one life we're given. I'm not just throwing out buzzwords, I'm being serious. And then the job came. I started the same day as a girl that I really wasn't interested in. Three months in, I started to get interested in her and she was interested in me. Except when I got interested in her, she stopped being interested in me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to dating, bro. Like, everyone goes through this. And because of this whole lack of experience in naivete, I spent the next year and a half pining for her, unknowingly. And then after that, I just kind of went with the flow and whatever happened, happened, so. Oh, we're getting into the forum now. <laughs> uh... It's a place to vent. I mean, it's just a place to socialize with other in cells who suffer from the same problem I do. Oh great, an online echo chamber that further exacerbates the problem so that all of these like-minded, bitter people can come together to air out their grievances for the maladies. It's a place where, you know, people go put things that are like completely hidden from most other places. There's a lot of negative emotions that you can see there. There's a lot of depression, a lot of anger. Post subject, my government has still not found me a girlfriend. <laughs> what the fuck? I think the general consensus though is that the posters who are more controversial don't really fall under the love shy umbrella. Like they would fall under something called incel. The two terms aren't synonymous. Occasionally you can have a guy that isn't ugly and might not be able to get girls because, you know, he just never approaches. They almost like they're the opposite of love shy, whereas like they approach all kinds of women and always get rejected. There are just so many different personalities on there, and a lot of the times our personalities collide. That's why there's so many flame wars, but <laughs> it's all in good humor most of the time. You learn something new every day. Flame war. Seems like this is a time capsule from the early aughts. The forum is home to a third group of men who call themselves pickup artists, or PUAs. It comes full circle. This is why you come to the third eye, baby. We cover it all. A lot of the times, I find it hard to translate just how deep I have been in the PUA rabbit holes because I find it so utterly fascinating and sad. The levels of psychosis that men will go to just to seduce a woman is batshit insane. It's a disease. It's a mental illness. You know what to do? Just do this. 
PUA is using certain body languages. Forum name Urban White Trash. Hmm, nice to meet you. Certain uh, dress uh, fashion senses and certain words to basically uh, seduce a, a, a woman. <laughs> You just gotta look smacks, brother. You gotta keep up your mewing streak. That'll get you some pussy. How long have you been training as a PUA? Couple months now. Do you wanna explain any terminology they have? All right, well, when two, um, when two pickup artists go out into the field looking for women, the terminology used is sarging. Ah! <laughs> Why do I know that? Sorry, uh, sarging, because this is based off of military terminology. But once again, it's not real. Guys are into it just because they want to improve themselves or whatever, and they're using this as their, like, motivation or whatever. I think that's fine. But it's when you get all obsessed with it that I think it gets ridiculous. Every day is a sarge for me. That would go so hard on a t-shirt. <laughs> the way I see it, you gotta be yourself on dates because that's what you're gonna end up with anyway, so... Picking up artists, it's all scam. But how are you gonna know what you want if you don't know who you are? I would say that PUA is analogous to get rich quick schemes. Bo is literally speaking facts right now. You see, with get rich quick schemes, they promise you the moon and the sun. They promise that you can. Take it slower, you know? No, I gotta talk fast. You gotta talk fast? Yes, I have to come off as intelligent as possible. This is an ego thing with me. But people, people can talk slowly and still be intelligent. No. It's so over. I believe that a military style PUA camp should be in, it should be uh, created for these guys that you term as, uh, you've used, used the term incels or involuntary celibates. Maybe I just had an absolutely cracked family dynamic and was brought up in a positive environment because this sort of behavior would get smacked the fuck out of me before I hit the age of five. So my plan for PUA camp would be similar to how they do initiation night at the Citadel. I would have all the uh, incels and love shies all basically huddled in like cattle into a room. Like these guys would be like standing together like cattle in a cattle pen. And these guys who I'm gonna call the drill sergeants would be in there confiscating all their World of Warcraft shit, all their Dungeons and Dragons shit, and they'd put it in a big fucking bonfire and burn it. Here's some fun facts for you. I've been playing World of Warcraft since I was seven years old, okay? That is 18 years of gaming. I am a fantasy and fiction hound dweeb turbo geek. I've had acne as a teenager. So, no, these are not excuses. Then, I'd have these pictures of just these beautiful women in the nude being fucked by these muscular hot bad boys. What? And have surround sound playing the sounds of women enjoying sex. You know, ah, ah, fuck me, baby, fuck me, baby. And I'd have neon lights flashing the words, it's all so adorable, but you can't have it. They would break these incels down. You know, just like the military, break down an incel, build up a PUA. You know, that's what we gotta do. I believe there's four types of males in this world. Alphas, betas, gammas, and omegas. <laughs> what is this fucking brave new world? Holy shit. Not even betas. He said betas. That is the beta way of saying beta. Now, omega males are the lowest kind of males um, there are. Omegas are what I would call genetic garbage. That's me. You play the omega. Which no, is the little no, brother, no, basically. No, 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 no. Not little brother. The legitimate. So that's what I aim for. Is the, the guy everybody makes fun of is the Joker. That, the Joker of the group, if you will. Dude, this video was made for me. Pickup artists while sipping Capri Sun? This is like a fucking fever dream. Can you explain Omega? <laughs> um, do you understand the Greek alphabet? Yes. Okay. Omega is the last. That's how I explained to him. Uh <laughs> No, these are actors off of Craigslist. This is not fucking real! Uh, using the Wolfpack analogy, uh, Alpha and Beta are usually the, um, two dominant, uh, wolves. And then, um, in most Wolfpack, you know, it's Omega. It's so sad that this entire ideology is based off of incorrect science. This is not how it works in nature. They can't even get that right. Which is usually the last to feed. 
Um, uh, the last to get mate Steven, lasts for other Stephen, stuff. Stephen, we all take our turns down at the bottom, so. But you tend to stay there. I know, and I have to learn to gain more confidence around you guys and to try to build my not, not just us, in oh, general. Yeah. Yeah. This is a life skill. Cry. This is the best video I've ever watched in my entire life. Not even 4chan's most seasoned, esoteric trolls can make a better plot than this YouTube documentary. Something he will never ever need in his life. I've already needed one. Yeah, well, back in nine, that. back in the, during the Clinton administration. Look, I, if, if I, I needed one uh, you know, eight advanced, months I, ago, I okay? <laughs> You haven't clapped cheeks and needed a condom since the Clinton administration. Um, actually, I needed one eight months ago. Where were you when I was about to penetrate? I just didn't have one, and I was too lazy to go get one. If you don't, uh, and also, I did have chances in college while uh, Bush was president, but I just it was too much of a voice. Well, there are several do's and don'ts about getting laid in a nightclub. I'll list them out for you. Here are the do's. Be attractive, be hot, be good looking, be muscular, don't, these are the don'ts. Don't be unattractive, don't be average looking, don't have pale skin. Because that also gives off the creepy serial killer vibe, you know? I don't know where you keep getting this. Yep, well, if you follow those rules, you're pretty much gu guaranteed a free lay every time you walk into the club. That is the quintessential first comment on any Reddit post ever. Step one, be attractive. Step two, don't be unattractive. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, I, I hold so much contempt for this absolute garbage that I'm watching. It's all in your control. Learn how to sleep and hit the weights. And wear clothes like Kyle. Listen to this music, guys. What is this music? It's just beautiful music. <laughs> I like this guy's vibe. Fat chick. She's not fat. She wasn't fat. Jeez, no wonder. Maybe he's got like distorted vision. What, my vision? Yeah, you just see every chick as being fat. Look what Kyle's wearing. He's got this polo on, it's fitting. He's got nice jeans on. He's got flat bottom sneakers with the Nike check. He's got this nice jacket here. Your clothes are just off. Wow. <laughs> They're doing fit checks on each other. When some guys are like, why can't I get girls? They'll be like, oh, it must be my looks. No, it must be my personality. Looks and personality are not mutually exclusive. In curing one, you cure the other. Well, hello. It's UWT here, and we're in the mall giving Michael a makeover because he's fucking ugly. But not anymore. Once we're done, we'll transform this dud into a stud. Peace out, niggas. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That's a sergeant tie, sergeant shirt. The flat bottom soles are in, right, at, uh, right, Scott? Nah, Why? this nigga needs to get some fresh J's. Fresh J's on this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know this was the turn that this was gonna take. What the hell are fresh J's? Ken's shoes are very important. Get the fuck out of the way. And why are shoes important? Turn the camera around. Say it to the camera. Why are shoes important? I don't know. You know the answer. Just what's the answer? What's the first thing a woman notices? Um, it certainly isn't personality, so. You gotta love how they're assuming that they know what the first thing a girl notices is when they ask an actual normal girl and she's not even thinking about this because <laughs> this is not how the real world works. It's not the first thing a woman notices. It's shoes. What's just the first say it's thing? shoes. Just, just say with the first thing. It's the shoes, right? Just tell me I'm right. It's the shoes. Come on, you know it's the shoes. Dude, you weren't supposed to wear all the items at once. Hey, excuse me. Yeah. What do you think of this? I told him it looks terrible. It's comfortable. This shows the detachment in real time. The girl literally said, that oh, looks comfortable. Because women are actual people who are not 
absolutely radicalized by internet forums into this degenerate behavior. When these two paths cross, it's like a fucking mental breakdown where the incel can't extrapolate why a woman is saying the things that she's saying. It's not a bad idea, but I don't think what I need I'm going to get from these guys. I, I have a feeling we're going after a different kind of... Look? No. As I was saying, I have a feeling we are going after a different kind of female and what we're trying to attract. What kind are you trying to go after? Someone who yeah, will love you, you like, for you? Never um, I'm more of a Stacy guy myself. Do you think looks matter? I think personality probably matters more. My looks are the only reason I am in some. I feel like for the most part, being sort of shy and introverted is not attractive. I think looks is 95% face. I feel it's better to be socially able. You know, a chin that's balanced, facial thirds that are balanced. He's really gonna hit us with the lower cantle tilt, the physiognomy, the lower thirds, the cheekbones, the fucking positive facial protrusion. Do you ever think? It's because you're fucking disgusting? Are you sure it's not this serial killer aura that is emanating off of you? No, of course not. It's gotta be your looks. I feel like my life is kind of like a mess. I'm like, I think there might, you know, why if I was a woman, would I want to date me? Someone like that? I'm like, no. The idea that you are a static person that is incapable of improving, adapting, growing, evolving is so retarded. Tall and slender and girls like that, but you know, Face is 95% of everything. If you don't have a good face, you're done. Says who? Why do you think Advance is so obsessed with his face? Maybe because his face is something that he can't really change. But he can and will change it. Well, with plastic surgery. No! Yeah, but that's like one of those things that it's like making a film. I want to be a filmmaker, but making but a film is such a hassle plastic. that I can always come up with an excuse not to do it. Yeah, I made a couple films too, but... I have a Photoshop picture where I shortened my face, I made my cantle tilt positive. Yo, he went there! I was saying that in jest! I'd like to have my Neanderthal brow grinded down. I would like a canthoplasty, which is when they lift the corners of the eyes. I might decide to get a revision rhinoplasty. Oh. My. Fucking. God! Just lift weights! <laughs> Holy shit! You'll get a thicker neck and your face will become more virilized. What the fuck, dude? The idea that there is this perfect facial fucking form and symmetry is absolutely just shooting yourself in the fucking foot. I know more about fat chicks than probably anyone on the planet. Like, I can write a book on them. I look at ugly fat chicks and I see how easily they get men. And, you know, sometimes that makes me angry. Do you ever resent women? Sometimes I do because of how easy they have it and how hard we have it in comparison. I have to stop myself periodically throughout this video just to remember that I have a ever-present frowning face of contempt during this entire time. Maybe I'm the crazy one, but unless you really understand the dynamics of what is going on here, only then can you realize just how sinister and fucked up this actually is. These people are narcissistic, self-entitled, have nothing going for them, and expect the world. And I'm sorry, but that is not something I can respect as a man. What makes you an expert on women having never touched a girl, kissed a girl, or had sex with a girl, or been in a relationship with a girl? You don't need experience to know about something. <laughs> if you base your entire identity and self-worth off of being pathetic, then you are going to be treated as insufferable to be around. When I'm in social circles, there are girls around and I observe them. And that's what I, a lot of what I base my theories on. Sex, I don't think most women like sex. I think it's something that they do just, I don't know, just because. I mean, like, the guy wants it, I guess. I don't know. I mean, women don't have a high sex drive. I, I don't know. I think you have somewhat feminist views, but, I mean, that's it. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I agree that women are people. No, see? That's bullshit. And if you don't realize that, then you've been brainwashed. Yeah, half the population is going to respond really well to the idea that you don't think of them as people. Good luck finding a girlfriend, you bot. You think that women ever have trouble finding love? Nope. What about sex? <laughs> That's even easier. That's like shooting a dead fish in a barrel. When you have a machine gun 
infinite ammo. If a woman wanted to get sex, she could go to a grocery store and ask any of the male cashiers, and I'm sure they all would, even the married ones. So what is that saying about most men? I would do anything just for a 300 pound ugly white girl. I would fight in the front lines, the bloodiest battle the world has ever seen, and come back with no limbs if it meant that that would guarantee me an ugly fat chick for life. There's down bad, and then there's this androgynous self-hating incel. Women are women, men are men. You're still human, they're not some special, they're not some thing to be placed on a pedestal. And I'll tell you one thing, women think the same thing about men sometimes. If you can put yourself in the female perspective, you'll realize that they, at occasion, are just as nervous about finding a mate as you are. Some of these guys are surrounded by quirk chunguses, okay? It's not over for all of them. Some of these people are actually really nice, just a bit socially awkward. Actually, my problem has been I've only been around people who felt like that. Like okay. most of the friends that I was close to were either married mm -hmm. or had no social, were not in any dating scenario. Yeah, like but most. I didn't get born married. I am like a level 60. I have finished the game, but I had to grind and get XP to get to the next level. <laughs> you must explain the cake. No, we don't Go have to on. talk about the cake. You need to talk about the cake. Come on. What's the cake? It was a vagina cake. It was, in fact, a vagina cake. It was a fucking vagina cake. And they specifically saved the special portion for me. Uh-huh. And I tried eating this thing, and I, and it was like, oh, yeah, it's not going to be a problem. I'm going to lick it and everything. It'll be hilarious. And then I go, and I just got Choke. red in the face and choked. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I'm just... <laughs> that guy's so innocent, it's kind of cute. <laughs> Incels like soft porn because they've never seen a vagina. The most most of them I've ever seen is like a girl in a bikini. So they're gonna end up jerking off to that because that's what they've seen in real life because a vagina and titties, because they've never seen those IRL, is kind of scary to them. <laughs> He's a pickup artist and he's scared of vagina. <laughs> I think there's some projection going on here. Because you're the one who's afraid of vaginas. Look. Oh wait, you're the one that just reminded me of the threat. I'm terrified of female genitals. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. <laughs> I just don't like looking at them. Guys just want to fuck them. They don't want to like look at them. They're like, they look like what are you they don't look like meat sockets. Bumping ugly. They're not beautiful. They're not. Do you horrible. like the way dicks look, Sarah? Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. <laughs> Let us what? look at pictures of. <laughs> oh God, I can't even look at it. I'm serious. Like I, I Google vaginas see. and I get this fucking picture. I can't even fucking look at it. I don't know how to tell you this, but you might be gay. I don't like looking at them. <laughs> Men don't even like women, I swear. They're too Most low. Most guys probably don't. It's they're just, too low? It's... Yes. What do you mean they're too low? Dude, I wish they were parallel ass. with my dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's like every 16-year-old's fucking brain blast moment. Oh, it's lower than I thought! Sugar magnolia blossoms bloom and heads all empty and I don't care. Wait, so, so why, my baby why did you yeah. think you were incel before and love shy now? Because I used to be incel and now I'm love shy. So Lori starts complaining to me and she doesn't know I'm a virgin. She's like, I can't believe I had to take his virginity away. I mean, I'm all cool with guys being virgins if it's because of their religious beliefs. But if a guy just can't find someone to have sex with him, that's pretty pathetic. And I mean, that's just the truth of how they feel about it, you know? So do you feel as though you're a good lover? I'm sure I could be if I, if I uh, had the chance. I know what goes on. I mean, the penis enters the vagina, thrust, 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 question mark, question mark, question mark, profit. I don't think I've ever encountered a person as unlikable as this guy. Yo ho, let the winds blow, just hear the ocean roar. <clears throat> We're sailing to a better land to be and sail no more. Ahoy, we sail the seas. I'll yell out land ho soon. And we'll dock on the shores and unzip our drawers and get some hijabi poon. I didn't even know there were sea shanties or theme songs for being an incel. 
reason I'm outgoing now is just because you guys already know the worst shit about me that you could possibly find out and use against me. I'm shy around people I'm trying to impress because, you know, for, for me it's just a big game, you know. Just a little nervous about this documentary. I got the 2.30 feeling. What are you nervous will happen in the documentary? Uh, you're gonna put it on the news and... <laughs> <laughs> 9 o'clock news. Investigative Guys, reporter. Can't get uncovering dens of misogyny. Hundreds of thousands, sorry, millions of people will see just how shitty we actually are. She infiltrated their ranks, exposed one of their most outspoken members to <laughs> handle urban white trash. <laughs> These guys are just misogyny maxing. I don't think I'll ever run into a duplicate. I'll never run into somebody, who, oh, you remind me of Advanced, or you remind me of, you know, Urban White Trash. They're unique, <laughs> for better or worse. Just try men. Who cares? Which is not, I don't think it's that common. I think most people, I don't know, maybe, like, people are just, like, too afraid to be, like, so... <laughs> crazy the way these two are they're unafraid to be crazy well they should be so that's my sad little life what do you guys think i just want to be like in with one person and i'd be totally happy as long as it was like a good relationship and the rest of it just wouldn't matter i get overwhelmed and i think i should just quit and i don't do anything because i'm like well what's the point so i just figure why even try what's the motivation this blonde guy seems rather tame and can fit in society. He just needs a little bit of social skills, and yeah, there's probably a lot of people out there for him. You see, life is similar to the story of Sisyphus. The sooner you shoulder that boulder and push it up to the fucking top anyway, don't ask for any pity. I was thinking, I was thinking I should have jumped off while you were doing the pan. I see it as like, you know, abstract art. That's what art is all about. It's like the ultimate art project is to kill yourself by jumping onto a pavement and splattering yourself, I think. Uh-huh. Jumping off a building is the ultimate form of self-expression in art. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's uh, fabulous. I'll get you far in life, buddy. Not to get too philosophical, but when people don't experience trauma and they're not faced with the fragility of life right before their eyes, then yeah, they think it's funny to say shit like this. It is morally bankrupt and selfish. It should not be encouraged. It should be shit on and stomped out. <laughs> Michael, please! I am begging you for some redemption here. He keeps prodding me to tell you what the website is like about. The real reason we put the website is because we're all perpetually single <laughs> and frustrated about it. You have girlfriends in college, it. though. Uh, almost. <laughs> well, then you had almost girlfriends in college. Yeah. Why didn't you want to tell me that it was like the single boys? I think as I get older, I get more depressed because I feel like I have less time. And I think, I don't know, I kind of like, I kind of like being this way. I don't, I feel get annoyed that I feel like to have like a normal life, I have to like alter. But then what's the alternative? Keep going on the way you are, which doesn't work. He's talking to her normally. All he has to do is just not fumble and act like an absolute weirdo. I think when you look at the bigger picture though, I think you're pretty, and you have it pretty good. I mean, compared to a lot of other people in this world, you have a really good life. You think so? You really think so? The thing with incels is that they don't actually want to be helped or saved because they are unwilling to do any sort of effort or work or identify the uncomfortable reasons as to why they are the way they are. Which is why you get this mental masturbation fucking misogyny feedback loop that never ends and makes people hate you. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? That's a scary question. <laughs> I don't know. I've either figured out everything or I haven't, which would be bad if it's the latter. From a filmmaking perspective, I know this is like really low budget and run and gun style, but there's some pretty shots in here. So shout out Sarah. I, just, I mean, I don't think about it because I just assume I'm gonna figure it out. Otherwise I'd probably have a mental breakdown now. I want it to be as if I never existed. 
I wish I could do that. I wish I could make make my life so that it never happened. And what if you miss out on meeting your dream girl? So what? <laughs> you never existed. Why would you care? Men will do anything but go to therapy, bro. They will literally start a website and tunnel themselves into internet incel forums called shyguys.com. He's getting attention from a woman right here. At a certain point, you just gotta cut the bullshit, okay? You gotta call it how you see it. You're getting what you always dreamed of! Female validation! And even if you do meet her, something bad could happen. She could die, or she could just dump you. So it's like, it's, even if it, it does happen, it's not like... It's not like your problems are solved. Yeah, it's doomed. You might as well not try ever. See how far that gets you, buddy. That was a powerful piece of content because <laughs> it did its job in eliciting emotions from me, the viewer. And although it wasn't positive emotions, I hope, I really fucking hope, some of what I said stuck. This is a precise cross-section of incel culture during the early 2000s that literally spiraled into what we know today as Zoomer internet inceldom. Who would have thought that if you think of yourself as vile, unlikable, unlovable, undateable, and ugly, you might just be right.